we can throw this back all the way to the beginning before free agency technically opened. Bears addressed their starting safety position, went out and got Kevin Byard. They also added another depth safety in Jonathan Owens, more famously known as Simone Biles' husband. Do you, yeah. I really like the Byard edition. Byard is a guy that, especially in his years in Tennessee, he was always a player I enjoyed watching, a true ball hawking safety of sorts. That's just the game he plays and has always played in his career. And to get him for the dollar value and, and for the contract value that they were able to, because the Eagles released him ahead of free agency, he was able to sign before the tampering period. I think that was a great move by Ryan Poles to just address that position immediately and, and before free agency could even start. And then Owens is a nice depth safety. We've seen this Bears defense have to go through countless defensive backs, having a guy that has two years of, of real playing time was a 17 game starters last year in Houston had over a hundred tackles as a safety. And then last year was still an 80 plus tackle player uh, with 11 starts under his belt with the Packers. It's nice to have that depth at the safety position. So Ryan Pohl shores up the, the defensive backfield. Jalen Johnson obviously got re-signed and got his big extension. The DBs are ready to roll Q and, and they, they took care of it pretty quickly in free agency. Yeah. So with, with Bayard, I mean, you are basically getting a player who I think is very similar to Eddie Jackson pre-injury. Because um, Eddie Jackson wasn't quite the same last year, as much as I hate to admit it. And he missed time with, with more injuries. And you'd hope that By Bayard has historically not really missed games. He is 30 now. I'm always a little nervous about defensive backs at 30 and over. You know, I just I just think of Antrell Roll. Remember when the Bears signed him? Like I it's do. just it, 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 the drop off can be steep and fast on these guys. But from everything I've heard about Byard's tape from last year, it's like, especially with Philly, it wasn't quite where they wanted it to be. But also, he was playing in a scheme that was different than what he was used to. And that when this, he'll be asked to do very similar stuff as he was done doing in Tennessee. I think he's just kind of going to be the ball hawk back there, trying to, you know jump routes, be instinctive, do what you do. Cause that's what Kevin Byer does. He's instinctive and he gets interceptions. And if he can continue to do that in Chicago and stay healthy, he'll be a good signing. It's just a question of him staying healthy. I think he's not, he has lost a bit of a step over the years, but he's such an instinctive player. You think, I think that can make up for it just fine. Like he's still going to be a solid player out there at the least, as long as he's healthy and Jonathan Owens, it's not exciting, but you know what? It is a giant upgrade over Elijah Hicks. Like it, it's very yes. similar to the uh, Coleman Shelton versus Lucas Patrick idea. <laughs> like it, 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 if you're a baseball fan, it's, uh, Matt Clapp said this to me earlier. If anyone out there who follows Matt, great follow on Twitter for Cubs and Bears stuff. But um, he he said, yeah, it's like when you add a two war player in baseball to replace a negative war player. It's not that exciting, but it makes a huge difference. It really does. That's a hell of an, an analogy as well. So big shout out to Matt Clapp for that one. Cause that, that puts it perfectly, right? Like it, it's one thing to be watching your favorite team and just get used to below average play of whatever position the player is at. When you get a guy that's at least adequate, it makes all the world a difference. And Owens was a pain in the ass last year. I mean, the Bears saw him twice and they knew what he was capable of. And he's another, you know, very instinctive player. He's he's a hard hitter. You know, he's not afraid to get down and dirty in the run game. So, um, again, I like what the Bears did at safety. And I think it was a huge upgrade.